So hi guys, welcome back to the channel. I'm back with one more video, and today we have Sujana with us. So a great friend, great human being, and today she will be sharing her uh, TCS digital interview experience. And this video, guys, will be covering uh, what kind of questions she got uh, during the first assessment, and how were the questions asked during the TR, and also in the HR. And she also uh, sharing her interview experience, like uh, regarding the network issues and how you want to deal regarding that, how you want to contact the support team, and everything we'll be covering in this video, guys. And before starting the talk, I would like to mention we also have a Telegram community group. A link has been put in the description. And guys, if you're not a subscriber to our channel, hit the bell icon and subscribe. And without wasting much time, let's start to talk with uh, Sujana. Uh, hi, Sujana. Welcome to the channel. Firstly. Hi, Akshay. Thank you for having me. It's really yeah. nice being here. Pleasure, pleasure, Sujana. So, firstly, congrats, Sujana, for being selected at uh, you know TCS Digital. Thank you. Thank you. So nothing. Uh, just give a small insight regarding your experience uh, in the TCS Digital. Like, how was your experience, and what are the issues you got uh, during the attempt? Over to you. Hmm. Okay. So, so TCS hiring in Geetam was off campus. Mm -hmm. uh, that, that's what it is. But okay. you know, the interview was on campus. The okay. HR team came into the campus and okay. it was done on campus. Mm -hmm. So uh, the whole TCS exam is in two three phases. Okay. The mm -hmm. written test. Uh, and then uh, technical and managerial Manager. interview together and okay. HR. HR. Mm. So, so the written test is uh, TCS national qualifying test, okay. which is for uh, whole India. Whole India. Okay. So the test would be, you know, the usual sections we have in every other uh, basic exam, aptitude, uh, okay. numerical mm -hmm. ability, reasoning and okay. coding around. Mm -hmm. So... So based on the score we got, I don't know the exact criteria, mm. okay. but they shortlist you into this two different uh, profile. Stuff, digital and profiles, digital mm. profile and ninja profile. Okay. So digital is for 7 LPA mm -hmm. and ninja is for 3.8, I guess. Okay. Mm -hmm. Yeah. 3.8. Yes. Uh, so, and then, uh, you know, after uh, the TCS NQT exam, we get uh, mm. the Excel sheet from, from college okay. that mm. for which profile you got selected in. Okay. Mm -hmm. And then... Um, uh, the interview stuff was like really quick. Okay. Tomorrow is our interviews, and today we got the mail that you know, dude, uh -huh. we'll have interview tomorrow. Okay. It's on campus, mm -hmm. so it's on Engineers Day, okay. and fourteenth we got a mail. Okay. So we were all planning Engineers Day on a real high. Mm -hmm. I I I took classes for two days. I was okay. in this um student life office planning everything with mm -hmm. with a lot of other people, all other clubs together, and I get a mail. Uh, you have to be tomorrow. there tomorrow for the interview. Uh, okay. It's like um. To the team i'm not gonna be here here i have an interview tomorrow just take take my name out of there okay i was supposed to do a hosting tour for the event i was okay. like i'm out, hey. I'm out of this Achha. it was fun <laughs> and then uh and then for the interview um uh, the technical and managerial is online mm -hmm. and then you complete your technical and managerial interview and then you go to the gcgc office for okay. mm -hmm the hr interview okay so mm -hmm. before you go to the hr round you, your profile you know your mm -hmm. yeah. uh, report would be sent to the sent. hr team okay. and based on that you would be uh, you know you would be evaluated okay uh before that uh so before, general, like, yeah 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 uh, before that you like you also mentioned regarding the technical issues which you face during the taking assessment mm -hmm. so any talk okay. on that so, uh, what, so what was uh, the issue uh, yeah uh my TCS exam was the first day okay. of the whole TCS uh, okay. exam mm -hmm. schedule. You know, okay. the national test, my slot was the first day okay. in the afternoon. So, okay. a lot of network buffering, lost mm -hmm. to a lot of people, uh, exam kind of buffered right there, you know, okay. it just stuck. Mm -hmm. And even mine, mine too. Okay. Okay. And then later on, it started. Okay. And I was in the coding era. I was okay. almost uh, writing the logic. I was like, Let, let's do this. Mm -hmm. Okay. And then I got an network error. Mm -hmm. The coding question skipped to the next coding question. Achha. I'm like, bro, I'm not gonna even. I'm, I'm not even gonna get shortlisted. So I'm done. I just did one coding question, and the other one just half. Mm -hmm. uh, so and then I mailed them with my whole issue. Bro, mm -hmm. this isn't fair. I was oh. A lot of okay. frustration. Mm -hmm. I mailed TCSD. Okay. And then this is what happened. Okay. Uh, I was solved. And the network error came mm -hmm. and the question got skipped to the next question. Mm -hmm. But, you know, generally in CoCubes and in every other exam, uh, you know, you have a network issue. It would stay on the same question, oh, yeah. mm -hmm. not skip to the other yep. question. Yep. But in this TCS platform, kind of skip to the next next question. Okay. <clears throat> so I made them, but, you know, no response. <laughs> but I was like, take it easy, you know, take mm -hmm. it easy. And then okay. the results came, I was in for digital for some reason. Mm -hmm. Thank okay. God. Oh, that's that was the issue. Chalo, chalo, chalo then. 
So guys, uh, coming to the support team, I will be uh, providing the TCS digital support team uh, mail ID in the description. And if you have, you know, some kind of, if you have faced the same similar uh, kind of issues, you can just uh, try contacting to that mail ID. But uh, finger or cross, you can get a response from the team or you may not get the response from the team, but give a try. So coming back. It's better to just mail them that, you know, this is something you faced. That's what. Mm -hmm. And guys, uh, just a small suggestion, if possible, just try to take the screenshot uh, of the issue because they may ask uh, what is the proof and uh, what are the issues you have faced during uh, taking the interview and all. If possible, just, uh, just try to take a screenshot of uh, the issue. And uh, coming back to the Sujana, like in TR, like how are the questions they ask you to you? Can you talk on that? Okay. So my technical round went really well. I never expected that it would okay. be that well. I was really nervous. I, mm -hmm. I sat in the new uh, smart classroom and second floor. Mm -hmm. So, you know, it would be easy for me to just go to the ground floor and do the HR round. Okay. I, I arranged everything well. And um, and I would say, you know, in every technical and managerial round, your intro is the best part that you can mm -hmm. give to them. Yep. Whatever you give in that mm -hmm. 50 to 60 seconds, decide okay. your, decides mm -hmm. your next 30 minutes. Agreed. So I worked on my intro pretty well before that. Mm -hmm. I did not work on the technical stuff or DBMS questions because, okay. you know, whatever I thought was, you know, let me give the intro perfectly. Mm -hmm. You know, based on my intro, they would ask the questions or, you know, they would move That's on. Okay. That. Yep. Agreed. So, uh, with the intro, uh, he went like, yeah, it was mm -hmm. nice uh, talking to you, you know, okay. I really, mm -hmm. you know, let's talk more or something like that. Mm -hmm. And then, you know, there was this technical guy and the managerial guy okay. who asked me questions. Mm -hmm. First one was the managerial. But even the in the managerial uh, round, I had a lot of technical questions involved. Okay. okay. Mm -hmm. Then in the technical round, it's obviously technical. Okay. So it was basically about your intro. And okay. then the first question is uh, talking about our project, mm -hmm. whatever the project you do. And okay. then in the many project that we do now in the mm -hmm. seventh semester, Okay. I'm doing something related to machine learning and okay. every other person is doing related to machine learning mm -hmm. because that's the most common one. Okay. Mm -hmm. And then he was like, okay, uh, that's fine. You know, machine learning is fine. What else you did? Mm -hmm. So uh, I, I was talking about our community website I did, I did and a portfolio website mm -hmm. and he okay. was, he was fine with that, mm -hmm. uh, but he was expecting something else. Mm -hmm. So, you know, there was this half project I did and stopped, mm -hmm. uh, which is a Twitter bot using Python. That okay. kind of interested him mm -hmm. a lot. Okay. You know, mm -hmm. how did we do it? You know, I went like tweety. Mm -hmm. I did not complete it yet. But okay. you know, I'm looking forward mm -hmm. to complete it whenever I get a free time or something. Okay. Okay. Uh -huh. So he was really into that part, you know, because it's Twitter bot and you know, mm -hmm. it's something new. To That's what, yeah. And then uh, he, uh, we submitted a resume during our NQT profile. Mm -hmm. Okay. So, mm -hmm. you know, based on the resume, uh, he asked me a few questions about, you know, the communities I was part mm -hmm. of, you know. Okay. Why this? Why did you choose that? Why are you a content writer and so on? So community because mm -hmm. you are into technical okay. background. Mm -hmm. And I explained him why it interested me and why I, why was I part of it? Mm -hmm. And you know, it uh, he asked me a lot of questions based on the resume. Resume, okay. And then he he also focused on the DBMS part, a lot mm -hmm. of DBMS questions. Okay. Uh, and then cloud computing, you know, mm -hmm. uh, open source yeah. stuff, mm -hmm. and uh, what else? And so... then he also asked me few web development questions okay mm -hmm. you yeah, asked me what is the new technology that you are looking forward to i took blockchain as an elective in my in my seventh semester so okay. i mm -hmm. told him about blockchain and how i want to proceed with that in future because that is kind of interesting to me he was impressed with that um i don't know a, a few of my friends told me that you know at the end of the interview they went like you know learn one language perfectly be sure but to me, that guy went like, uh, it was really great talking to you. We are really looking forward. Okay. He ended my interview with like, uh, like that. Okay. So I was like, okay, fine. I think, you know, I have hopes for this. Okay. So that was fun. So Sujan, you mentioned that uh, TR and the managerial round in the same uh, round, right? So like... Yeah, two how, people. Yeah, like two people. Like uh, it's like, you know, first they'll be asking, I mean, focusing on the technical part and later on the managerial part. Or like how is it? Like mixed up uh, kind of uh, experience? It's, it's up to them. But mm -hmm. for me, the managerial guy asked a question, <laughs> asked questions. Okay. Uh, but some managerial questions, but you know, he moved on to technical questions as well. Okay. It mm -hmm. wasn't restricted mm -hmm. to that guy to ask mm -hmm. only the technical part. Technical. Okay. But when it comes to the technical guy, you know, he asked mostly mm -hmm. the technical questions. So, okay. In the managerial part, like what kind of questions you got, uh, Sujana? Do you remember? Okay, so in managerial part, it was mostly about, you know, uh, he, he kind of tests you about how you are into people, how mm -hmm. your communication mm -hmm. are. Mm -hmm. uh, I would say managerial and HR would be a little similar, but not completely. Yep. Mm -hmm. uh, uh, but 
you know, he asked me about, you know, the, the stuff, the communities I was part mm-hmm. of, what did mm-hmm. I actually do there? Okay. And, uh, you know, just <coughs> other than technical, what kind of non-technical stuff, you know, mm-hmm. so, he asked me, uh, why do I do Figma UI UX design, mm-hmm. you know, how that, that interested me. So I went like, you know, I was really into photography and editing. Okay. I mm-hmm. kind of figured out the technical part of that stuff is designing. Mm-hmm. And mm-hmm. then, you know, I that he, 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 he wanted to know everything about yep. it, whatever mm-hmm. I put in the resume. So like, uh, it, mm. yeah, it was, it's, it's like, you know, extracurriculum activities. I can say that. Yeah, mostly. Mm. And also he would, he would give a scenario. I, I got one scenario in my technical manager mm. round. Okay. okay. And then in HR round, he, she would give, she, he or she would give you like two or three scenarios. Okay. Mm-hmm. Because that's mostly the HR part. Chalo. Uh, but in managerical and technical, just one or two. It's limited. Yeah. All right. All right. So this was all about uh, TR and uh, the manager part. So next round was HR, correct? Uh, HR. HR. So, so how, how was your HR? Your interview yeah. online and then you know, send you the reports. By the okay. time you go down, mm-hmm. offline HR. Okay, so offline HR. One. Okay. HR on. So you go there and uh, yeah, HR is really comfortable. Mm-hmm. You you. So not nervous because there is no technical rounds okay. but you know you have to carry the documents as mm-hmm. a soft co- copy mm-hmm. or hot, okay. hot mm-hmm. copy mm-hmm. and then you go to them and they check they they kind of you know over check mm-hmm. is the documents correct mm-hmm. the picture in tcs exam okay. you mm-hmm. gave mm-hmm. the picture you, you are there yeah. now mm-hmm. you know is the person the same and okay. generally the document verification mm-hmm. is done and then that person uh, kind of ask you ask you your introduction again mm-hmm. okay and then um and then what else <laughs> Uh, she'll give uh, for, for me it was a lady okay. she gave me two scenarios you know mm-hmm. let's say she she asked me this stuff okay. let's say uh, you are into TCS digital okay. I mean you got the job mm-hmm. and you really love doing that project work or whatever mm-hmm. it is but suddenly TCS would come to you and go like uh, dude you know go to the teaching part mm-hmm. I'm sending you for this TCS NQ2 okay. NQT mm-hmm. teaching mm-hmm. Okay. have to go to each campus and you know teach people about what mm-hmm. it is but okay. you really don't like that mm-hmm. how would you deal with that scenario mm-hmm. and stuff okay. i answered that part and then another question is like mm-hmm. you know you you are really into you're working on a project okay and you are a team of five mm-hmm. but you see you put a lot of efforts and the rest four people w- would not mm-hmm. and at mm-hmm. the end everyone gets the uh, you know gets appreciation okay. not not you alone okay. how mm-hmm. would you deal with that and okay. you really want to tell your mm-hmm. tell your friends or teammates that you know this is not supposed to happen mm-hmm. you all should work together okay. simultaneously mm-hmm. your okay. contribution should be the same and okay. stuff mm-hmm. and that that was another scenario and you know in uh, during hr she was really friendly so i told her about this part you know uh, so she asked me about the clubs and communities. Okay. You know, what did mm-hmm. you learn? How did okay. you learn communication? You know, how was mm-hmm. your journey in BTEC and stuff? Okay. So for that, I told her this part. You know, today I was supposed to be in the engineering mm-hmm. yeah. day event. You know, I had a lot of plans, but you know, I had t- I had the interview, so I left everything alone. Mm-hmm. But you know, previously for the past two three days, we mm-hmm. planned a lot of stuff and all. Uh, so she was she was really impressed with that. You know. Okay. Mm-hmm. Though you have a lot of work, you know, you kind of focused on this. And that's Hi, nice that you involve in a lot of clubs and communities yep. and stuff. Mm-hmm. Uh, and she was also whatever I spoke. That so, went great. Yep. And I guess, you know, it's all about situation-based question. Uh, so they'll be giving a scenario it's and nice. they'll be checking like how you want to react to that situation and all. Mm-hmm. And uh, I guess we have covered everything, right? Which was necessary to audience and all. Yeah, I, I guess so. I guess so. Anything we are missing? No, right? No. The so, testing, written test, uh, technical mm-hmm. round, and HR round. Assessment, it's a, it has a kind of a common thing as this thing. Apti, quants, and the comprehension and two coding questions. Comparatively to other assessments, TCS and QT, and QT is kind of different. Uh, there, there are a lot of sections. Mm-hmm. I mean, a lot of logical questions. Okay. There are, you know, diagrammatic questions mm-hmm. and okay. stuff. Mm-hmm. 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 The syllabus is pretty advanced to the normal okay. uh, coding test. So, yeah. like in uh, how many questions, how many coding questions were there? Any idea? Two, two coding questions. Two coding questions. Okay, all right. Uh, great. So, then I guess we have covered everything. So, now we'll focus on its mm-hmm. role and responsibility and what are the updates you got from the company and also looking into the package and all. So, any talk on uh, role and responsibility, Sujana? Okay, for digital, you would be given a role as system engineer okay mm-hmm. and then for ninja it, it would be associate system engineer i guess okay 
so i asked one of the senior who works in tcs uh, okay. charan na okay. and he told me i went like you know a system engineer kind kind of doesn't sound like a software engineer and okay. is it a lesser role or something like that mm-hmm. and he went like no everyone here are system engineers okay uh, you know just a role but here the responsibilities would be not Mm-hmm. system engineer okay. doing the regular stuff mm-hmm. you would be working on real time projects you know okay. in mm-hmm. the domain like mm-hmm. whatever the domain is okay. you would whatever you are interested in mm-hmm. you would be given and you know for time being when you initially join you would be given a specific domain but later on you can shift domains mm-hmm. and you know it's flexible okay so he told me about that so yeah i got a mail from tcs uh, about the offer offer letter you know accepting the offer letter yeah, okay. mm-hmm. uh, during uh, while you accept the offer letter you have three preferred locations and you okay. have to mm-hmm. select that mm-hmm. and accept the offer letter okay and then you know after that you have the tcs uh, student portal mm-hmm. or learning okay. portal mm-hmm. i don't yeah. know the exact mm-hmm. yeah. in that you have to complete a few assessments okay. based on the assessments you have uh, a, a chance of getting uh, 60000 you know okay. until 60000 high mm-hmm. for the first year of your uh, income Okay. Let's mm-hmm. say you know you perform well in the assessment, you okay. get sixty, so mm-hmm. that would be seven point six. Mm-hmm. Let's say you perform and perform like mediocre, mm-hmm. you would be seven point two or three. You know, based on the assessments. Okay. So, based upon, upon the performance, you will be you know getting credited uh, kind of a bonus, I guess, right? Based upon your yeah, performance. Yeah, kind of a bonus. Yeah. And mm-hmm. also, you know, let's say you did very well in your mm-hmm. assessments, and and then you would be given a high chance. You know, you would you would be. Uh, you would be uh, you would be asked like you know mm. which location do you want yeah. okay. uh, else you know let's say you did not do well you would be just given the location whatever mm. they want okay. you did well you know you would be as he told sure. me that also sure. okay then mm. so coming to the package we have discussed for digital it's like 7 and for ninja it's like 3.8 correct 3.8 i guess yeah chalo mm. so, so we have covered everything the assessment and also the role and responsibility and also the updates which you got from the company end. and uh, last but not the least any suggestion to our audience uh, sujana uh i would say you know just be themselves talk well learn communication mm-hmm. uh, my whole 40 minute interview was just on my 60 second introduction yep, agree so i mean give 60 seconds confidently and you're mm-hmm. good to go for the next 40 minutes so that is something just be confident be yourself yep. agreed and additional to you know adding points to sujana's point uh, if make uh, make sure that you has your introduction is uh, valid and whatever you introduce to the panelist uh, the questions may frame based upon that itself and guys if possible mm-hmm. instead of you know adding to the technical stuff and certification make sure that you also add the extra curriculum activities and if you are a part of any college club please do mention it in the cv because you may get you know kind of a diversion based upon that uh, community you can get some kind of a question that is what happened with uh, the sujana and uh, in hr she also mentioned that uh, you may get questions the kind of a you know, situation based question and uh, make sure that you instead of you know going going with a scripted thing just try to imagine the situation and just uh, imagine yourself in that situation and just speak according to that so this will make you easier to you know uh, talk to the panelist member and that's the small kind of suggestion from my end and uh, i guess we have covered everything and coming to this thing uh, if you got any kind of a network issue please do take a screenshot uh, for the proof purpose and all and uh, the support team link i'll be uh, giving in the description you can just make use of that and chalo we have covered everything so sujan i really appreciate you for you know taking time and joining us uh, sharing your interview experience thanks a lot thank you thank you akshay it was really great talking to you as well pleasure pleasure and yeah guys this is about his talk and as i mentioned earlier if you not a subscribe to our channel hit the bell icon and subscribe and we also have a telegram community group called vigro a link has been put in the description and guys if you have any suggestion any inputs make use of youtube comment section sure we'll be i'll be working towards them and we also have uh, you know if you want to connect if you, you want to connect with me make use of my instagram id a link has been put in the description and uh, sujana once again thank you for joining us today thank you thank you and yeah guys this is about his talks in the next video take care bye